What's going on, everybody? I'm coming back with a fire crew. I think this one's actually pretty cool. I've got Nidog, La Calavera, and Nan Rouge. I use them a little differently than I do most of my uh, mage runs. Churchill Pen on Nidog, Putrid Heart on La Calavera, and Hooken, the most powerful artifact in the game, on Nan Rouge. The whole idea here, and I do apologize because the setup is going to take me a little bit to build up, but it's something to keep in mind as you're playing, what oh, popped a P there, as you're playing, sometimes it's good to kind of sit in the wave that you're in so that your monsters can either accrue damage or armor or health, whatever it is that you're trying to build. And with this current setup that I have, what I'm trying to build is La Calavera's maximum hit points. Once I do that, right, let me heal the dog. That darn guy. I let him go down too quick. Once I build up La Calavera's hit points enough, Nan Rouge really starts to shine. Which we'll get to in just a few moments, because it's pretty awesome. Nice critical. Thanks, La Calavera. And now you'll see attack priority with the mage down in the third slot. Healer takes priority. Again, I'll be talking more and more about this as my videos go, as my videos continue. Sometimes it's hard to talk and play at the same time. So you see here, um, <laughs> critical when I didn't want to. Really what I'm trying to do is I'm, I'm trying to ensure that I get to stay on wave one for as long as I want to and that the game doesn't dictate when I have to leave it. Sometimes that's hard to do though. Especially when you critical so much. <laughs> Normally it's the other way around. Normally it's AI that's criticaling on me a whole bunch. La Calavera is really good because she has a three chain. And every single power gem you pop gives you two skill points. Well, for the small ones. The medium ones give you three, the large ones give you four. I think we're almost ready to fly here. We are we are just about ready. Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get one one more round in and then we should be good to go. Yeah, let's see. 24,000 damage. That should work, right? Go ahead and boost her again. 45,000 damage. Boost again. 67,000. Should be enough. Alright, 117,000 damage with a character that's not even overcharged. 145. 156,000 damage. Again, Nan Rouge, Hooken, Val Putrid, Nidog, Churchill. I think this is an awesome build. You don't need to have super powerful characters for it. You can do it with a tier 6 La Calavera. You can do it with a tier whatever you want, Nidog. And Nyan Rouge, I think, um, tier 5? I think it might be a tier 5. I'd have to look again on our powers. Anyhow, I hope you found this video useful. Go ahead and share it with anybody else that you think would enjoy this type of information about this super cool yet unique and small community side game, Shadow Wars. 